Hey guys, how's it going? I am out with Graham today, and um, I decided we had some snow overnight. This is crazy for us. We're like November 2nd right now. Um, we had some snow overnight, and so all the mountains are just having a fresh dusting here. And it's a very gray, sort of uniform gray day right now. Lots of clouds. And an exercise that we talk about a lot in our course and we like to teach is low-vis flying. Uh, we don't do a, a lot of flying in low vis, but um, we like to talk about it. We li like to talk about low reference flying as well, and, and do a bit of exercise on that. So that's what we're doing today. We've put the bear paws on the helicopter, and um, I'll show you a picture of, of what that is in a little bit. And uh, we're heading out to the mountains now. Uh, we're going to go to the backside of a glacier, and I'm going to pick an area where there's very low reference. So that means we have a uniform uh, surface, so like very white and just kind of flat. And then um, we have a uniform gray sky, and so there's very low contrast. And so our exercise today is talking about uh, what do we do with a situation like that? How do we still properly and safely land the helicopter? So let's get right into it. All right, so as you guys can see here, we're just on the backside of Mount Robbie, and uh, it's a gorgeous day, awesome, uh, lots of contrast right now. And I just quickly wanted to talk about why is it important that we have reference when we're landing? So if, uh, if you have no reference when you're landing, it's impossible to know the height of the helicopter, how high you are off the ground, and then if there's any motion. Are you drifting sideways? Are you going forwards, backwards, or are you in the hover? And so it's really important for us to have all those references as a helicopter pilot to make sure that we know our height and know our speed and if we're still moving or not when we're trying to come in for landing. So this is the area that we're going to. Hey guys, so we've arrived at our spot here, and as you can see, lots of reference all around here. Let's get down a little bit lower, Graham. And um, as we get closer into this glacier, we've got this fresh snow over top of it, and very low light, oh, well, it's bright enough, but a low, low light situation. And so as we turn in towards this hillside here, it might be hard for you guys to see, because it's probably really bad contrast on the camera, but there's sections here that are just totally white and uniform, and we have no depth perception. So as we fly in here, um, especially, it'll be even worse. Let's go fly up there. It'll be even worse as we get further up this way. So right here, we've got all these crevasses. You see that, right? So the crevasses are giving us depth, and they're giving us motion. We can sort of see that. But as we turn in here, let's turn in a little bit to the left. Okay. This is going to be super freaky for you. So we've got lots of reference up there. But if you look down here, I can't zero see. reference. We have no clue whatsoever right now. Let's turn right away, because we don't want to get into a dangerous situation. Turn away. There you go. So right there, you have control. I have control. Right there, we had zero reference. It might have been really hard for you guys to see that, but we couldn't tell. Uh, we, when we came into it, we knew. We could, we could see reference all around, and we knew that we were probably at least 150 feet off the ground. As soon as we got in there, how, how high do you think we were, Graham? I mean, obviously, we knew reference-wise, or we knew uh, mentally, we knew that we were still that same height because it hadn't changed. Yeah. But as soon as we got in there, no reference whatsoever, oh, right? Though. And it's so scary. It's it's like your heart actually starts thumping really hard and immediately got to turn away from that. So that's the, try, the kind of situation that we avoid. How, wh what's the next step? How do we still land? If we need to get into an area like this, how do we still land? So I'm going to fly with you. Okay. And we're going to come around here. And we're going to start looking for a spot that gets us st still in the same area but we have good reference, and that's the key. So you always have to have something, whether it's a rock, whether it's a tree, whether it's a, a crevasse, like one of these guys here. Uh, obviously, you have to be careful if it's a glacier and there's crevasses. But, um, so I'm looking around for a spot that looks reasonable to me and, and is flat enough and everything. And so I'm doing a, a pass here. We're going to check our power as well. I'm looking at this potential spot up here. I really like this spot because it has lots of rocks and exposed. There's no snow on it. And so we're coming up now. We're into wind. This is the direction of the wind. And so as we come to the edge here, we're just going to check that we have enough power. And let's see. We're using lots of right pedal. There we are. And 92% we're able to hover there. Ah, that feels excellent. OK. Let's come around it felt here. felt like we are climbing a bit. Yeah, we even climbed a little bit with that power setting. So let's come around once again. And. I think I've picked my spot that I'd like to land. I'm going to land just over here. There's a nice spot that flattens out. And on this spot alone, there is some lack of reference. I'm just looking at it right now. And uh, it's, it's a flat spot. And so the snow, even though there's lots of reference around it, the snow makes it have very little reference. 
So I'm choosing the spot just directly out in front of us here. And what I'm going to do, I've got a little rock kind of off to the left-hand side there. I'm going to shoot my approach directly for that rock, and that's going to be my reference point. So there's the key point. Anytime you come in and you are coming in for landing with very limited reference, always pick something that you can look at. So that rock is my, that's my rock. <laughs> and, and that gives me my reference to know that I'm not moving anymore. There I am on the ground. Now, good thing we got the bear paws on because you see how the nose is kind of sinking down, getting yeah. into that super soft. It's way more snow up here than I expected. <laughs> Amazing. Um, we're down into that super soft snow, but the bear paws are keeping the heels up so we don't have any t uh, danger with our uh, tail rotor. Pretty cool, eh? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was informative. If you did, please share it with somebody. Graham, you did an awesome job. Very, very impressed. That was awesome. We're going to go land on the top of the mountain lobby now. I'll talk to you guys later.